This tutorial is going to go over how to create a basic cuboid in Tabs MST. To begin with, move your mouse over to the left hand side of the screen and select cuboid, the top shape, by single clicking. With the cuboid selected, move your mouse to the center of the 3D area, click once and hold down your mouse button, dragging out to create the shape's base. When you release the mouse, and drag your mouse up, you create the shape's height. Click again to set the height. You will notice that once you create a shape in the 3D area, a two-dimensional shape net is automatically created. If you go back and single click to select this shape, you'll notice a series of boxes that appear on the shape. In addition, you also see the shape's dimensions. You can change a shape that's already created by grabbing one of the pink boxes that sit atop the 3D shape. Click and hold, moving your mouse up or down to scale your 3D shape. Notice that as you're moving your mouse up and down, the two-dimensional shape net is altered. If you create a height of a 3D shape that extends beyond the print view boundary areas, for instance, in this case, the 2D shape net is extending beyond the print margins, you can automatically reposition the 2D two-dimensional shape net by either clicking and dragging or clicking the auto arrange nets feature which is right above the print view area. I will do that one right now. Notice the two-dimensional shape net is now within the print margins. Going back to the three-dimensional shape, if you single click on it, apart from dragging the pink boxes to resize the shape, you can also proportionally scale your shape by clicking and holding one of the red boxes moving up or down to scale your shape proportionally. You can also slide the shape in the 3D area by grabbing one of the blue rectangles. If you click and hold and move left and right, it moves the shape along the x-plane of this coordinate grid. Conversely, I could grab and move this blue box. I could also grab and move this one or this one. In addition to these parameters, if you right click on the 3D shape and go down and choose parameters, a pop-up box appears. In this pop-up box, you can specifically select the width, the height, and the depth of your 3D shape. In this example, I'm going to set all of my dimensions to one inch and then I'm going to click OK. You notice your 3D shape is automatically resized, as is the two-dimensional shape net.